answer. I'm recording. Okie doke, we're live. I guess we'll wait, you, babe. Uh, you, we got, um, yeah, so we're live. Welcome to the virtual healthy happy hour. We're just going to give everybody a few minutes to um, get on here. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is exciting. Let's see. Christy. I can't, okay, so this is, I'm not going to be able to see your comments, I'm going to try, um, but my husband's in the other room recording this for FB5, we're getting a little techie, so, all right, give us some hearts and likes, let me know you're here, because I can't see you who is watching, just letting you guys know. It looks like we got about six people. We'll give it another minute and then we'll give it a go. Hey, Nadia. Yes, ma'am. So this is not related to our call, what we're doing at all, but uh, I got antsy and I cut my hair. <gasps> Did you really? I cut like 10 inches off. No way. Just for this call. Oh my goodness, look at you getting all sexy for our virtual happy hour. Yeah, like I like I did it myself. Like I just... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I used to do hair. See, that was the thing. Oh I'm going to have to come up there and fix what, what you did. <laughs> <laughs> don't cut your own hair, people. <laughs> bad, bad. And then don't ever tell your stylist that you did that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. So, <laughs> so, although they might be able to tell because they're gonna be lifting up the hair and being like, uh, did you right? put on hair? Because <laughs> yeah. It looks good. It looks good. Healthy. Yeah, I can't see the bottom, but it looks great. It's, it's, you know. It's not terrible, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I want to respect everybody's time that um, is on right now. So, welcome to our virtual happy hour. My name is Nadia Faulkner. Um, I was introduced to isogenics about um, five months five, five months ago. Um, I am, and I'm sorry, I didn't do my hair and take a shower because we have a hurricane. I'm in South Florida and we have a hurricane coming. So I was doing hurricane prep all day today. There's like no water anywhere. There's batteries are nowhere to be found either. Um, so yeah, it's a little crazy down here. So sorry, I didn't shower for you guys. But anyway, so um, I am 31 years old. I'm a mother to a nine month old daughter who I am ex still exclusively breastfeeding. Um, and I am also married to a wonderful husband who is uh, recording this for us in the other room. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, so I was introduced to Isogenics about five months ago by my cousin Katie Blanchard. Um, he, um, have been doing it for a while. Um, she saw me struggling with some issues. Um, I had my daughter in December of 2015, um, which was a beautiful thing. Um, and then we came home, I was taking care of her five months down postpartum. Um, I still had not lost a single pound from the hospital. Um, and so I went and got my thyroid checked. Um, everything was clear with my thyroid and so, and I had been eating paleo for like about a month or two. Um, and I was wondering why I wasn't losing weight. And um, I had hit a plateau. It was really frustrating. And I know a lot of moms, you know, get that, um, they get self-conscious, you know, with their bodies after the baby. And um, uh, I knew it was going to take a little bit of time, but I hadn't lost a single pound. And I, like, I mean, I could have, I should have lost at least a pound from doing paleo for 30 to 60 days. Um, so my cousin told me about isogenics. 
Um, I was really worried about it. I decided to give it a go. I jumped in two feet, <laughs> well, maybe one foot in, one foot out, but I did it anyway. And um, I fell in love with these products. I was starting to get, the first thing that I noticed wasn't weight loss. It was, um, I was starting to feel better. My, I felt myself kind of leveling out. I wasn't as um, crazy brain fog. I wasn't tired as much, even though I was getting sleepless nights, I still had energy in the morning. I didn't have to rush to get that coffee. Um, you know, I, I wasn't having to take naps all day. I, you know, when she napped, cause they say nap and the baby naps. Well, I mean, at five months she was starting to sleep a little bit better, but so I didn't need those naps anymore. And it wasn't like an, a jittery, like energy where you have 10 cups of coffee. It was just that natural, calm energy awake. Um, and then the you know, the pounds had started to co finally come off. Um, and that made me feel better. And I'm like, okay, well, obviously there was something that was missing in my nutrition, even with eating paleo that, that uh, made myself plateau in the weight. Um, and um, yeah, so then I just fell in love with these. And then I also saw the opportunity as far as the business goes. So I um, jumped in with that as well. One foot in, one foot out. <laughs> I guess it's kind of my, uh, my track record. I just, you know, kind of, sort of. But um, anyway, so I'm just going to go over. That's my little bit of a story. I'm going to go over just a few of the core products really fast. And then um, Beth, or wait. Beth, did you want to talk first and then I could do that after? Okay, sounds good. All right, we're going to switch it over to Beth now. She's going to share her story and she is going to talk a little bit about our health and maybe why me specific, maybe not as me specifically, but why, you know, we hit weight plateaus or um, why our workouts aren't gaining the momentum that we want and why we're still tired and whatnot. All right, so Beth, take it away. Hi, um, I am Dr. Beth Westy, and I'm going to go through a lot of information on overall health, protein, how to get the right protein, how to absorb it into your body, all these other fantastic things. Um, slight disclaimer as I just get uh, started here is that I have three children. So they're six, eight, and ten, and I have two dogs. So there may be some background noise, as there usually is at my house and when people are and animals are home. So um, anyway, we're going to start talking about protein. When we talk about uh, protein levels, protein is one of those things that everybody talks about getting in their diet, high protein diet. You know, this, I won't touch on carbs that much now or talk about, talk about that too much. Um, we'll just focus on protein and getting more protein in your diet. Most of the time, if people start keeping track of that, they're like, they realize that they're not getting enough protein. And what's the big deal with protein? Why is that important? Why is that a thing? How does that help you lose weight? Those are very important questions that people have because that really, you know, people are like, okay, why is this program different than other programs? Why are these products different than other products? You know, why is this going to work for me versus something else? And it really boils down to protein. That's a, that's a baseline thing that you need to get in your system. And it's because protein increases your lean muscle mass because it supports your lean muscle. So you're able to work out, you're able to um, grow your muscles faster, and also it then targets your fat cells to help use those for energy more than using your muscles for energy. If you're not eating enough protein, your body's going to use your protein sources for energy, which means your muscle tissue. If you're eating enough protein, your body will get that in, build that lean muscle, and it will target your fat cells and use that for energy. So that's a little kind of brief background about why protein is important. But high protein diets are very, very common, very well known um, to really help with weight loss and everything else. Also helps to level out your blood sugar, which means you're not going to get hungry. You're not going to crash in the afternoon. You're not going to be like, oh my gosh, this is really terrible. I can't sustain this type of thing. By just eating more protein, it's a really simple and easy thing to do to really help your overall health, weight loss, and ever, all those other goals. So that's just a quick intro about why protein is important. So now, okay, yep, I want to eat more protein. I got to get this in my diet. I know this is going to help me. 
great. How do I do this? How does this work? What's right for me? That type of a thing. Um, a very easy thing to do, and this is just an easy way to break it down for people, is to try and get around 125 pro grams of protein a day. So when we talk about protein amounts and everything else, you know, we're looking to really boost that 125 grams per day. That's a lot. And some people are like, oh, geez, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm eating. You know, one egg is like seven grams of protein. A medium sized chicken breast like this, maybe 35 to 40 grams of protein. So that's a lot of chicken, right? That's a lot of chicken. Just kidding. So an easy way to split this up and to make sure that you can get the protein that you need and to space it out throughout the day so you're not getting to the end of your day and like, oh, geez, I only had 20 grams of protein all day. Now I got to fit in 105. Are you kidding me? Space it out throughout the day. Even it out. That's going to help boost your energy, increase your energy and everything else. So that's just splitting it up into five meals throughout the day, spacing it out five meals throughout the day, and then trying to target 25 grams a meal. So that's looking at it like a breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. Sorry, I'll tip this just a touch there. Yeah, that's a, that's a lunch. That means lunch, that weird owl there. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. So you're looking for 25 grams of protein at each one of these. And that can look however you want it to look. So, you know, say this, so if there's about six or seven grams of protein in an egg, if you get at least three eggs, you're getting, you know, around 20 grams of protein right there. Great. That's a great start. And you can just add some Greek yogurt or something on there too to get there. So most people, once you start tweaking your breakfast, lunches, and dinners, it's really easy to start getting more protein into your diet that way. It's the snacks that can be tough. And that you're looking for, again, at least 25 grams of protein. This is where a protein shake or a protein bar, just adding that in, makes your life so much easier in terms of getting to these higher protein levels. Um, the thing that people try and do sometimes is to really switch everything over, like, like drop all their old habits, just shift everything and most of the time with an extreme diet studies have shown it just doesn't last it may be five days three to five days is about the failure rate for people when they're trying to switch over to an extreme type of diet it has a 98 percent fail rate that's huge so why doesn't it work for people because it's too far outside the box it's too far outside what they're normally doing so this is a great way to sort of baby step your way into higher protein getting it into your body and just shifting things slightly so that you're still kind of eating on the same regimen, but you're getting a ton more protein. Then you're getting all those benefits of the protein. So if you're not eating breakfast, start there. <laughs> start eating breakfast right there. <clears throat> Again, so this is just a, this is an example for some people. If you're really busy in the morning and you don't have time to cook or anything like that, totally fine. Then have your shake for breakfast have a bar for a snack, have another shake for lunch, and then say you get out of work earlier, you can have a healthy snack and then a healthy dinner. You can shift and tailor your food around for your schedule to make it work for you. That's the biggest key here. It's not always about fitting your life into some little box. You know, try and get to your numbers overall. Try and get to this 125 a day. Try and get to this 25 grams per meal about five times a day, and you're going to be really successful with increasing your protein numbers. Sorry, I need some water. I'm talking so fast. Okay. So, this is really important to get to. Um, and if you guys have any questions or you want more examples of healthy meals, we actually have some great Facebook groups that we can add you into that have meal plans, great healthy snack ideas, all super high in protein, as well as um, you know maintaining that. So, let me. <clears throat> when we talk about protein, and it's really important that you're getting to these numbers, right? You're getting to that, say, 25 grams. So that's what we're shooting for right here. We're going to make sure we're shooting for about 25 grams, or you know, we want, we want more than 12. That's the biggest thing to think about. It makes a big difference in terms of what you're absorbing and what kind of protein you're putting into your body. 
the type of protein that I use for myself and my family is either a, a vegan protein that's very easily absorbed or an undenatured whey protein. Now that sounds super fancy, and my husband always <laughs> likes to argue with me and say, why is it undenatured? Wouldn't it just be natured? You're saying it is not not natured. Like, quit with the double negative and just call it. I'm like, no, that's how it is. Most whey proteins are denatured. So if you're going to the store, and it can be any a supplement store, a regular store, all these other things, and you pick up a supplement and you pick up uh, some type of protein, and it says just whey protein isolate or whey protein concentrate, and it doesn't differentiate, that means that it is actually denatured. Denatured meaning it is processed with high heat or chemicals or both that destroys the natural component of the whey protein. So proteins are put together there's like these change of things that are kind of globbed together and held, you know, in a certain fashion. And when they have to process those proteins, if you add heat and chemical, then it shifts how those chemicals are. Is it still there? Yeah. Is it or it's just how those bi those um, proteins are bound together. Are they still there? Yes. Is that as bioavailable as the natural form? No. When it's not as bioavailable, that means you don't get to absorb it. That means your body doesn't actually get that protein. So when you're trying to add up to get to 25 grams, make sure you're doing the right math. And the right math is using the right products to get into your body so you're actually getting to this number. If you're using whole foods, which is great and that's fantastic, I am a huge believer in getting whole healthy foods, all that stuff. But in terms of fitting it into a lifestyle and having that be sustainable for somebody, that's where having the right tools of nutrition come into play. You gotta give yourself the right support and set yourself up for success for getting to the right protein numbers. Otherwise, you're gonna be frustrated. You're gonna spend two days a week just meal planning all the time to try and prepare all your food. You're gonna like meal, plan, meal prep on Sundays and then again on Wednesdays every week just to make sure you have enough food if you're doing whole food. So that's where protein shakes, protein bars, all that stuff comes into play and it's super easy to shift everything over to get to these protein numbers. Okay. So you're doing the right math. You're getting the right protein in your body. So in terms of the type of protein, if you're using whey protein, it's got to be an undenatured whey protein. That way, now I'm just using an example here. If it says 25 grams on the container of something that's an undenatured whey protein, you're going to be getting, again, depending on your digestive system, Anywhere between 23 to 24 grams of that will be uploaded into your system. Like your body just absorbs that. If it says 25 grams on the container and it just says whey protein and it doesn't differentiate if it's denatured or undenatured, you're not getting that. Your body just cannot absorb it. It's going to absorb maybe 50 to 65 percent of what that says. So you'd be getting maybe maybe 15 grams. May, that's being generous. Maybe 15 grams of protein out of something like this. You're not going to absorb it. So hopefully that makes sense. So you're really missing out on almost half of your protein. So if you're thinking that you're getting all this protein in, but you're not using the right product, you know, it's going to be a lot harder to get to your results. And it's going to be harder, harder on your body, harder on your system, harder on your kidneys and your liver to filter everything out. So that's why taking a product that is most close to nature and processed properly um, is really, really important. So here's how this looks in terms of digestion and how your body just gets everything, right? I love talking about protein and digestion. Okay, so here's your digestive system. And this is why this is so important. This here's your digestive system. It's like a tube. It's like a, you know, like a garden hose, right? And everything passes through here and gets broken down. Now, on your digestive system, it's lined, on your entire system is lined with these cells called microvilli, and those are like little finger-like projections that increase the surface area of your system so that you can absorb more and more and more. Yay! Now, things can irritate these cells that cause you not to absorb as much food, or not to absorb as much protein. Now, if we're going to break down proteins and look at the size of it, the sheer size of each protein molecule, and how easy is that going to pass through your, your digestive system cells here 
and into your bloodstream. So this would be your bloodstream. Because that's how it gets passed to every, everywhere else in the body. And it, like those molecules go to the muscles where you need them and et cetera, right? We're going to look at the size of protein molecules here. The largest protein molecule available in the human body is actually a soy protein. The molecular weight of that is 360. You don't need to know that necessarily. Just know that it's huge. Soy is huge. It doesn't matter if it's cold pressed or cold washed or whatever, fermented, blah, blah, blah. Raw, unprocessed soy is enormous. Your body cannot break it down properly. Maybe taking off little chunks here and here as that molecule passes through, but it's just too big. And it's going to irritate the crap out of your digestive system here, so it's going to prevent everything from coming through. So if we're looking and trying to get to this 25 gram number here, and you're getting a, a protein that is soy-based, like you're getting a protein bar or protein powder, and one of the first three ingredients, especially if it's the first ingredient, is soy protein, know that you're not absorbing it, it's irritating your digestive system, and you're not going to get to your protein number. So you're not actually eating a high-protein diet. You're just giving yourself a belly ache. Maybe you'll absorb a few grams of protein from that. So if it says 25 grams on the container, you're going to make, maybe get three grams of that actually into your system. Again, that's because of how your digestive system physiologically works and breaks down soy. Now the next largest one here is about 180 molecular weight. That's a processed soy molecule. So that's something where soy has been um, manipulated with high heat chemicals, things like that, to try and break it down. Again, still huge, enormous in terms of how your body can break it down. When we look at smaller protein molecules here, um, whey protein has a molecular weight of 66. So that's tiny, a lot smaller, a lot smaller here. than it is over here with the soy. So whey protein and why that's important and why people eat whey protein is that it has been proven study after study to build and rebuild muscle tissue in the human body faster and more efficiently than using any other type of protein. Can you use a vegan protein? Can you use plant-based protein? I mean, besides soy? Yes, you can. But in terms of speed and efficiency of rebuilding that muscle tissue, Whey protein gets the job done better and faster. So <clears throat> for people who are really wanting to see the result and, and um, you know, work out and see the muscles faster, to lean their body out faster, to get more energy just from their food, whey protein is the fastest, most efficient way to do that, the most efficient way your body processes all those things. So if you have a problem with dairy or can't digest it or something like that, okay, then don't eat, then don't eat whey. Don't eat whey protein because, of course, if you can't process dairy, then you're going to have a problem with whey protein. Okay. So that's why whey protein is important. That's why people use it, and that's why it's in a ton of products. Now, if we're looking at something smaller here, these are other types of protein molecules. A molecular weight of 40, so these are things like pea protein, hemp protein, things like that some rice proteins. Very, very tiny molecules get, that get absorbed very quickly into the body. So it's easier to absorb these. Now again, depending on these things. So again, when we talk about that whey protein, undenatured whey protein, you're going to be getting, again, if it says 25, this is just the example, it says 25 on the container, you're going to be getting at least 23, if not 24 grams there. With pea and hemp protein, as long as there's no other fillers or anything else in the product, that's the one thing you got to really be careful of. They will put fillers in there. They will put other, we'll just call it junk. Um, there have been studies, independent third-party independent third studies that have done research on supplements and things like that that you can buy off the shelf in a lot of very common stores. If you're interested in what the study is or those, what the stores were and all those other things, just let me know and I can shoot you some of these studies that they did. Woo! They uncovered so much information on, they were packing supplements that were just flying off the shelves that people buy a ton of stuff of that have things like dandelion root in them, fern plant, dust, cellulose, 
Cellulose, by the way, is a fancy word for sawdust. Yeah, sawdust. They put crap like that in some of these products because it's a natural product, which makes me so mad. Like, oh, it's organic or, oh, it's all natural. Well, so is a piece of poop, but you're not going to eat that, are you? I mean, that's what you got to be careful of with all these products. I'm going to go on a little rant here that you're getting off of the shelf, you know? It's all natural. Woo, okay. But you really got to be careful of what you're eating. They do that. They do that, I mean, if you don't believe me, some shredded cheese, like even in the store, you go to the grocery store, pick up a package of pre-shredded cheese, and if it says cellulose on there, that's sawdust. And they use cellulose or sawdust in the shredded cheese to keep it from clumping together, which makes sense, but it technically can be a food product because it's a plant, a tree is a plant, but you're not going to eat it, right? I mean, if you eat tree bark, that's fine. Maybe we have a, need to have a different conversation. I don't know. I'm getting on a tangent here. That was not my point. My point is, is that really be careful with some of these products because even though it says, you know, pea and hemp protein that you're going to be absorbing again, another like 23 grams out of the 25, fantastic. So you're going to get that protein in your body. You really got to be careful about what you're buying though because companies can label things funny, pack it in their product, make it cheaper, and then put it on the shelf. When they when they say that there's 25 grams of protein in it, then you're not able to, you know you're not able to absorb that. You can't you know. And then when you're eating cellulose or sawdust or something, that's again going to irritate your digestive system. So even if there is these great proteins in here, that can't pass through because it's preventing it when your stomach is irritated. That's what happens a lot with soy. The most common thing I talk to about people is with soy. They're eating soy protein. They're getting, their, their intestines are irritated. So like, oh, I'm having some soy milk or I have coffee with soy milk and that's healthy, right? And that's protein. Oh. Are you feeling bloated? Like do your pants not fit at the end of the day? Does your stomach start to get upset or do you just get those, this big bloat and some gas and all these other things and you're like, what the hell is going on? Soy, soy does that all the time to people because your body just can't break it down. It's really, really tough. All right, <clears throat> so a lot of information on proteins, which proteins to get, what you're looking for to get to these numbers to make sure you're getting that high protein diet to benefit from eating a high protein diet. If you're trying to eat a high protein diet and you're not watching what you're putting in your body, then you're really shooting yourself in the foot and getting like an expensive stomach ache. Woo, okay. So that was a lot of information. How are we doing, Nadia? Because <laughs> the next thing um, I wanted to talk about and, and go into a little bit more was the cleansing. So one of the things and the reason why um, I use a certain nutrition line and recommend that for people is because they use an, I, an undenatured whey protein. It's clean source from grass-fed cows from New Zealand, so they're not exposed to you know, growth hormones or other antibiotics or things like that. They have different standards of growth over in New Zealand. So that's what I put in my body. And that's what I put in things that I make for my kids and, and stuff like that. So it's, it's very, very different. Um, there's also systems and things like that to help people go through either intestinal cleansing or cellular cleansing. And those are really, really important. How are we doing, Nadia, on time? Are we still doing good? I can't tell if she's talking. She muted herself. It is nine. Okay. Should I go through cell cleansing a little bit? Sure. How do you guys feel about going through cleansing? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> I think it's a bomb, and I finally actually got to try it when we went to Vegas. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to maybe try it when I go to North Carolina because I'll be without the baby, too. So, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, awesome. Okay, so um, so Nadia's going to talk more when I'm when I'm done talking about cleansing. Nadia's going to talk more about the products and the systems and and how to incorporate that into your life or and why the systems are set up the way that they are because you know it's if you're going to get started in doing something and changing your nutrition and looking to accomplish a goal, finding a system to start with is gonna give you the most success. If you're trying to piece things together randomly, if you're just trying to like, you know, grab some stuff and throw it up against the wall and see what sticks, 
you're not going to be successful. Again, that's why most diet plans, especially when they're extreme, again, 98% fail rate. 98% fail rate for people. That is not odds that are good, that are going for people. No wonder why it's so tough. But when you have the right system, when you have the right support around you, when you have people that are helping you through this and you join a really great community of people that are willing to help you along the way, you're going to be successful as long as you, as long as you keep with it. That's the only thing. So, um, so one of the things about Isogenics that I really, really love, um, besides their clean protein and the high quality of standard in their products, is their self cleansing. Self cleansing is amazing. It's done amazing things for me and the women that I work with. Um, I'm a women's health expert, so that's primarily the the group that I work with. But again, self cleansing is amazing, and men have great results too. So the biggest thing about self cleansing is that it is very different than intestinal cleansing. Most people are familiar with cleansing and think, "Ooh, I'm gonna be running to the bathroom all day." That's woo. No. Not the same. Nope, not at all. An intestinal cleanse is basically like a roto rooter right through your guts. Very effective and oftentimes necessary for people, depending on what they have going on or what they need to do, you know, what they're looking to sort of refresh for their life. But for people who are really looking to drop weight and have it be a lasting result, cell cleansing is the most efficient way to help your body physiologically, naturally turn on fat burning mechanisms. Now what I mean by that is that most of the time when people cut calories, you're not doing something sustainable that's healthy for your body. When you're taking some sort of fat burning pill, you're not doing something sustainable that's going to help your body burn your food at a higher rate and burn the fat that it has on or use your fat cells for energy. You're putting in an unnatural you know, supplement or something or doing something unnatural that's not sustainable for your lifestyle and lifetime. Cell cleansing helps reset your system, boost your metabolism, get rid of that excess hormone, excess stress, you know, toxins, inflammation, all these other things, and then it teaches your body to target your fat cells and use them for energy. That's the thing that's amazing about it, is that it's not forcing any, it's not any weird outside thing, it's just helping your body naturally do that. It's amazing, your body's amazing. All right, so how this works, because it, it almost sounds too good to be true. So here's how this works. Normally your fat cells are like thin, flat pancakes, right? And you're born with just about the same number of fat cells that you have right now. Um, there's some differences in some different types of fat, which I won't get into now, but mainly these fat cells, you have the same number. So when people gain and lose weight, you don't get more or get less fat cells. The fat cells just balloon up or shrink down. So when you want to lose fat or lose weight, you basically are saying you want your fat cells to shrink because you want the energy within them to be expelled. And you don't want them to be storing that energy. So great. So when there are big fat cells that are storing lots of energy, that's essentially what they look like. Now, how do you get your fat cells to go from this to this? And specifically, we're really talking about visceral fat. Visceral fat is around mainly your internal organs, around your abdomen, um, which is where people, especially when they have a lot of stress and high in cortisol, that's where you're holding a lot of your weight. So how do you make your fat cells go from here to here as quickly as possible? Well, you go through a fasting cleanse. Uh, most of the time what happens too is when you have excess you know, toxins, things in the environment, excess hormones um, in the body, whether they be male or female hormones, uh, stress, so cortisol, that's an easy one. Everybody has stress in their body. Everybody has stress that has, go has gone on in their life. So that excess stress, that excess cortisol is all over the place then and you have it everywhere. So when you have an excess of it, your body doesn't know what to do. And it actually, these cells then will encase it, so you get these big blown up fat cells that have this excess cortisol in it. Now this could represent as something else too, other, you know, car exhaust, toxins in makeup or cleaning products or, you know, plastics if you live near a factory, all these other things, right? There's so many things this could represent. But this is how this process happens, and these fat cells get bigger 
because there's stuff locked in them. Now your body will do everything possible it needs to do to prevent the, this from releasing into your system again. It meaning it will hold on to excess weight even if you're having a great diet, eating clean, even if you're getting the right number of protein, even if you're getting those numbers every day that you want to get. Even if you have the, uh, the best workouts ever, your body's going to keep holding on to this and it's going to make you fatigued. It's going to have you, you know, brain fog, all these other things. There's so many other things that come along with it. But most people, they recognize it because they're not able to lose the weight that they want to lose and have it stay off because they're not doing the cell cleanse. Going through the cell cleanse then helps you reverse that because it targets these fat cells. How does it do that? Well, when your body's doing a fasting cleanse, for about the first, you know, we're gonna do a timeline, a fasting cleanse. This is your fasting day right here. So you wake up at 6 a.m. and you're gonna start your fast then. Great. So for the first eight hours, your body is burning stored carbohydrates. Everything you ate the day before and was stored, it goes through and burns those stored sugars and that's stored carbohydrates. So when you get to about this two o'clock mark in the afternoon, you've burned all your stored carbohydrates. Now your body switches over into deep fat burning mode and it targets these fat cells specifically. This is the only time you turn on that natural fat burning mode in your body. You gotta get through this day and hit this fat, fat burning mark here. And then it takes these cells, uses them for energy, so it'll like essentially kind of break the, that is messy, sorry. <laughs> break it open, expel everything from it. It'll shrink down into like a flat little pancake and everything gets expelled, including all that other junk. This is where the cleanse product comes in. There's an aloe component in the cleanse product that essentially grabs this stuff and flushes it out of the body. So you just urinate it out. It's not hard in the kidneys. Again, that's what the cleanse is for. Your body then is helps to flush everything out so that your pancake fat cell stays a pancake fat cell. You have to re-go through this process again and again and again until you get to the point where you are ready to maintain your new healthy weight. And it's easy to do. And you're cleanse things out. Now, on a maintenance schedule, yes, sometimes people still cleanse on a maintenance schedule depending on what you have going on in your life. So we can, that's a whole other conversation. But... This is a process that physiologically you have your body go through. So it's a natural process that's assisted along with the cleanse to get rid of all that toxic crap. Uh, fasting has been done in different societies throughout recorded history. So it, they found that people who did fast were healthier than people who did not. Now the reason we use a cleanse drink now is because there's so much other toxic crap that it's too hard on our organs to cleanse without it so yeah i have a question well actually somebody um randy is asking so um so even though you are skinny you can still have dangerous visceral fat that needs to go oh <clears throat> excellent 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 question excellent question yeah so there's a term called skinny fat and that's actually a thing and people can be a thin frame and think I'm still a size four, or I still fit into my pants, but you're, you don't have lean muscle mass enough to support your body frame, and you have visceral fat, it increased visceral fat, that is the most dangerous type of fat to have in the body. So this, that's the thing. So you can like research and things on like skinny fat, but the thing is it's visceral, V-I-S-C-E-R-A-L. So it's visceral fat. Visceral fat is the most dangerous type of fat because it's connected to the most deadly diseases that, pe that people get diagnosed with. The number one killer, especially for women, is heart disease. Increased visceral fat is associated with increased rates of heart disease, heart attacks, strokes, everything, and diabetes. And diabetes is oh, so rampant in the U.S. And increasing. And that is really targeted and connected with visceral fat. And that's not necessarily connected as much with your weight and BMI. Oftentimes when you have an increased um, visceral fat, you do have an increased weight or somebody is overweight or has an increased BMI. But that's not necessarily across the board. Somebody can have a smaller frame but have a lot of visceral fat and then be at risk more for heart disease 
and diabetes. Yeah. So hopefully that answers that the question that question. Yeah. Are there more questions? That was a good one. Okay. Otherwise, not that I can not that I can see. Um, if anybody has any questions for Dr. Bass, he would be happy to answer. Um, I don't think so. Okay. Otherwise, I think now is a good time to go through kind of the systems and the products and how things are put together and how that looks for people. The day they, they're watching this and they're thinking, oh my gosh, I need more protein. That's really going to help me get more energy, lean my body out. I want to go ahead and jump into this cleansing that's going to help flush all this excess toxin crap on my body. Um, how do I do that? What does that look like? Where do I start? All right. Sounds good. Um, so I'm just going to go over the core products um, that Isogenics carries. Um, and uh, so this is our protein, our undenatured whey, happy cow protein is what I call it because our cows are in New Zealand in grass and they get to live a beautiful life and they're only milk to season. So they're not under distress, which also will go into the meat and to and their milk as well. Uh, the stress hormones and all that. You don't want that nasty junk in there. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so this has 24, before I go into the happy cow, sorry guys. <laughs> um, so this has 24 grams of protein. Um, it also has all of your macronutrients, your carbs, your fats, um, everything that you're going to need at all balanced out. Um, it is high in fiber and active enzymes, no artificial colors, sweeteners, or fillers of any kind. Um, and all of the products, I will just interject right there. Um, it's also third party tested to make sure that what is in there is actually in there. Um, Let's see what else. Oh, and they come in a variety of flavors. Um, we have we just we have seasonal flavors too, which we just had the pumpkin spice, which sold out. Um, I snagged three of them, but um, anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, so there's French vanilla, chocolate. Um, there is a um, strawberry. What else? There. Yeah, besides pumpkin spice. Oh, and then we also have the dairy free too the vanilla chai, the chocolate, and berry harvest, which are also very, very good. Um, so, there is a system for dairy free users, uh, so don't fret. Um, next is the blends for life. This stuff is actually tastes really yummy. Um, it's very fruity, like a berry like, um, and it can. Hey, sorry guys. Um, it contains antioxidants like blueberry, raspberry, bilberry, um, and other plants and uh, that are gonna help naturally. Um, oops, sorry, I'm not right. um, that are gonna help naturally get rid of those toxins in your fat cells and in your body. Um, let's see what else. What else? Um, you can't, there's three different ways to cleanse, but, um, you know, you'll, whoever, either Buff or I, um, whoever gets you started can help you decide what is the best way to cleanse for you, um, and for your body and your goals as well. Um, it helps eliminate the stubborn fat, um, and supports metabolism. And the, this is nutrition that's supporting you, um, throughout the day so that, it's, that you're not just depriving yourself of nutrients um let's see we got the ionic supreme this is called in our group the happy mommy juice this helps your body adapt to stress in your daily life um so what happens when you, your 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 hormones start to go wacky once your stress levels go up so this kind of helps contain that so your body doesn't do that um it is uh, it contains oh, aptogens and antioxidants and nutrients to balance your body system. So the aptogens that the, um, a lot of the Olympic athletes use um, to help their bodies um, get in peak shape for the Olympics, um, they decided to take that information and put this into this little guy. So we get to use it. Um, it helps... <laughs> 
It helps elevate our daily performance and keep us level-headed. That's why we call it Happy Mommy Juice because, I mean, I know I only have a nine-month-old, but she still, even though she can't talk, she is learning to screech. So it makes me go a little kooky. So um, anyways, <laughs> and I'm sure everybody has kids that run around all day and drive them nuts. So this kind of kind of helps you keep a level head so we're not going bonkers. Because, um, yeah, I, I can't imagine what that's going to be like when she's running around here like a nut case. So. <laughs> um, so then we also have our natural, um, the natural accelerator, it, it, it does not contain any stimulants. It contains cayenne, green tea, cinnamon, and ginseng to help fire up that metabolism. Um, and it also contains fat burning nutrients, which helps support the liver's ability to metabolize fat quickly. Um, and then isoflush, something that I love because I used to take um, magnesium for, um, I, well actually I would crave chocolate and then I realized that I, my mom told me, she's like, oh you, you know you do that, you need magnesium because you're craving chocolate. Yeah, I'm like, okay. And this little guy's got magnesium. It also has a buttonite play. If I'm not mistaken, sorry guys. Just want to make sure I'm telling you the right um, minerals. Um, and then it also has peppermint oil um, to help soothe the belly. But this helps aid digestion. Um, it also helps um, calm calm yourself down. Um, and with your with if you're feeling a little, you know. High, and very tense. Um, magnesium also helps that, um, and the butt night clay helps flush that. Or is that the is that the right mineral? Am I saying that right, Beth? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um, I'm not good with big large terms. That's why I have Doctor Doctor Beth Westy here. So anyway. <laughs> So yeah, so that also helps remove and contain the toxins and then the magnesium helps flush it out. Um, so those are the core products and I'm going to take my computer and take it and show you what comes in the pack that I got started on. And I'm sorry if you're seeing, you know, I got tons of stuff around now. And if you watch any of my videos, they're kind of, um, any of my live videos, they're kind of all over the place, so. <laughs> which makes it kind of fun. Okay, so. Which I don't want to do that personally, and I'm not just saying this, is the best pack, especially for couples that want to get started. Um, it contains, which I'm missing the other one that I was showing you guys, but it contains four canisters of the shakes, and it also contains, and these, oh, I forgot to mention that these shakes are meal replacement. They're full meal replacement, so you're not gonna have a shake and then be hungry, you know, two hours later. This is gonna be something, or, you know, an hour later, whatever. It's, it's going to be something that's actually going to fill you up and it's not going to, um, you're not going to be starving. Um, and especially for a breastfeeding mom, I mean, if you've ever breastfed, you are like hungry all day, every day. Um, anyway, so um, then we also have these isoline bars that are also a meal replacement. Um, we have the e-shots because like I said, nobody lets a fr another friend cleanse without an e-shot or the ice of delights. Um, you also get the ISA blender that is made just for the shakes that help um, blend them at the right speed. You also get the vitamins, which has the product V, the ones that I was talking about in the group earlier. Uh, I think a couple days ago I posted about that. Um, and it comes in an AM and a PM pack. Um, and everything is customizable too. So it, you can get everything that you want, the flavor that you want. Um, so it also contains the snacks, which are for cleanse days. You kind of just suck on them all day so that, or well not all day, but you suck on them during the day to, uh, um, that contain nutrients and that help, you know, curb that um, craving. Um, it contains the Ionic Supreme, the cleanse for life. So basically it contains all of your shakes, um, snacks, vitamins, um, 
everything that you would need on a cleanse day to have a successful cleanse day, um, in my opinion, because the first day that I did a cleanse, I honestly, if I didn't have those isozolites, I don't think I would have made it through the day because I would have been craving um, something to eat, snack on. Um, so this is the President's Pack. It also contains um, a Rejuvity skin sample, which that is going to be in my next order, um, which I am excited to try. But anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. So the President's Pack is $20 a day. Um, they are having free shipping this week. Today is Tuesday, yeah. They're having free shipping this week, so that's a $25 value. Um, so what comes in the 30-day system, which to me is the bare minimum, um, let's see, I, sorry guys, just bear with me for one second. So the 30 day comes with the four shakes, which there's a shake missing. The four shakes, the Ionic Supreme, everything that you would need for a cleanse day. So you get the Isoflush, the natural uh, accelerator, the snacks, and two cleanse for life. Um, and then you also get the Amped Hydrate. Oh, sorry guys, I'm not showing up. There. So it comes with this, I'm gonna be that away. Okay. Um, so, and then it also comes with the Amped Hydrate, which is part of our performance line, which we didn't really get to talk about tonight, but that will maybe be for another conversation. Um, but this is great for breastfeeding moms. For me, it's, it's kind of like a Gatorade, um, but not with all that junk and artificial GMO junk. I'm just going to say junk. Um, so yeah, and this is $10 a day. Um, and that, you know, you're, when you're doing this, you're reallocating your grocery bill. Um, and so the, this is going to be replacing two meals a day, and then you're also going to be having two snacks and then a fork and knife dinner. Um, and depending on your goals, there are other packs for energy, performance, healthy aging, and then wealth creation. So there's a pack for everybody that can be customized to what your goals are, and Beth and I, Beth or I can help you, or whoever invited you to this can help you decide what pack would be best for you. Um, if you have any questions, I'm just going to check to see if there were any questions. I don't think so. Brian, can you tell me if there was any questions that in the if we would do, be doing more videos. Um, I would assume yes, that we could do more healthy happy hours. I don't know about you do that. Or what can, are there specific type of video that they are asked or you're asking for? Who is that that asked for? Randy, is there a specific video that you were looking for? I know Beth does a lot of videos. Um, on her page, but I'm not. But if you're talking about virtual healthy, healthy happy hours, um, we will definitely be doing some more. If that, I hope that answers your question. Yes, if you're still here. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think that covers almost everything, unless anybody has any other questions. Anything? Okay. No, no questions. Okay, so then I guess that I want to thank everyone for their time here. Uh, Beth, do you have any last minute words? Um, not really. Just yeah, thanks for everybody's attention, and that also the event will be live for a week. So even if they didn't get a chance to view the live video, you can invite somebody else or send it to somebody else. I mean, anybody that you think could benefit from some of this information. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, and um, you know, if you're ready to get started tonight, let us know. Uh, we'd be happy to help you. Um, otherwise, if you have any more questions, you can reach me, friend me, and as well as Beth or whoever invited you. Um, and yeah, I, I'm really excited for anybody that gets started, and we will be here to hold your hand throughout the whole process. So. Um, all right. Well, have a good night, guys. Otherwise, if I don't say bye, I'm going to just keep talking. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye.